Hey there, pause this video, attempt this question, and give a like to the video. It helps out the algorithm. How many consumers are there in this food chain? So we got the producer over there. This is a consumer because it eats the producer. This is a secondary consumer because it eats that one. And this is the tertiary because it eats that one. So it's three. What describes the tropic level of the snake? So the snake is part of the tertiary consumer because this is the primary, secondary, and this one eats that one. So that is the tertiary. So explain the role of light in helping the growth of maize. So that is so um, it can do some photosynthesis, which is absorbed by the chloroplast that um, creates some glucose, which is then, um, you know, is then converted into starch. You don't need to mention the start, um, um, the start point, starch point. But the light is very actually interesting because it opens up the stomata. Now, the stomata are mainly found underneath the leaf. Most of it is underneath the leaf. You don't want it on the top of the leaf. The reason being the sunlight comes in. And when the stomata opens, water vapor comes out. So you don't want the, all, all that water to evaporate. So uh, what the light does is it opens up the stomata, allows the stomata to uh, open up and allow carbon dioxide to get in because carbon dioxide is one of the things that is needed for photosynthesis. So what are some other factors that could be affecting the growth of maize other than light? That could be the CO2 levels. So the more carbon dioxide you have, the more um, actual photosynthesis it could occur. The other one might be the amount of temperature because that will affect the enzymes in the actual plant. If it gets too hot, the enzymes denature and they won't pop work properly and the part of, uh, plant will essentially die. Another thing would be the amount of water there is because water is needed for photosynthesis. Or you could even say moisture in the air, humidity, and the last point is the minerals. Is it getting enough magnesium to create the chlorophyll? Um, there's a bunch of other minerals that are needed. Give three reasons why not all the energy available in maize is transferred to the snake. Now, that's because of um, respiration. So as they're going up the food chain, the animals are moving about. They're trying to keep warm. And that all uses uh, um, energy in the form of respiration. Now, not all of the plant is able to be digested. Like, for example, the cell wall is made out of cellulose, which is great for fiber, but you can't get any energy because you can't break it down. There are certain animals that can break it down and they get they utilize that energy, but we cannot. Another thing is um, some of the food is lost in feces when you go up the um, food chain, um, as well as ur urine, or you could even say urea. Okay. Um, and not all animals are eaten. Some of them are uh, die from natural causes. So before the energy could go to uh, to the snake, maybe some of the lizards die. There could be certain diseases. Bones cannot be eaten. Teeth cannot be eaten. Uh, roots cannot be eaten. So all of these parts are going to be left behind and not going to be transferred to the actual snake.